Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. My name is Brianna Stewart and I am a program coordinator with Enrollment Services at Centralia College. Hello, my name is Kelly Worthy. I'm the uh, Assistant Director of Admissions and Outreach here at Centralia College. Uh, we have a little um, video for you about uh, what we have going on in enrollment services here, what we have going on with our funding, and how what our classes are going to look like for this upcoming year. So we are going to get right into it. Um, so some admissions updates for you. We are now able to accept high school level English classes um, for English placement. This must come off of the student's high school transcript. This fall, we were able to welcome our first fully online bachelor's program. This was our bachelor's in applied management. We are offering um, different types of classes right now. We have virtual classes, online classes, and then hybrid classes. Virtual classes are set up so that you have a Zoom or WebEx meeting um, every day with your instructor. Um, and most of it is done more of like a face-to-face, -face, but online. Um, we have the fully online, which does not require instructors to have actual lecture times. It is mostly just online where you do your work. And then we also are offering hybrid classes. These are more for the classes that may require lab times. So some will be online and some may be in person. Each um, There are many offices on campus that are us utilizing our virtual welcome center. This welcome center can be found on our website. Um, again, many offices on our campus are using it. It is um, mostly so that students can get a face-to-face -face interaction with our staff. We are also um, having laptop and hotspot rentals for students that are in need. And our eSports team finished in first place this spring in the game Overwatch. So that's really exciting for us. Some important deadlines, October 1st is when we will start processing um, fall 2021 admissions application. That's also when um, the financial aid application will open. In December, the Centralia College Foundation Scholarship opens. March 1st is the financial aid priority deadline as well as the Centralia College Foundation Scholarship deadline. In May, we will begin taking appointments for new student advising. Those appointments will then take place in June. So for funding and scholarships, financial aid will be offering a financial aid night. It will be virtual. They will be sending out the information for that to our local high schools. If you're interested, please reach out to them and they can get the dates for you. Um, always remind students to check their financial aid portal after submitting their application. And then the financial aid office is utilizing their virtual um, Welcome Center, so their virtual office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Our Centralia College Foundation Scholarship awarded $643,000 in scholarships last year to 411 recipients. Some of the resources we offer on campus for our students is Blazer Central and with peer mentoring. Um, this is being done remotely still to keep in contact with all the students. We also have TRIO, which helps with advising, and they also have tutors. We have a short-term crisis counselor for students who may be facing challenges at home. We have the Early Alert Program, which is used by instructors to alert college staff that a student may be falling behind in a class, and hopefully we can help them to raise their grade or whatever it may be so that they are successful. And then we also have the Food Pantry that is don't um, based on donations from staff and students and community members, and it is for students that are in need, and we are able to provide those services even though we are working remotely. So some of the changes um, that we have at Centralia College due to COVID, most classes are being offered online or remotely. Some of the classes that are hands-on um, are attending in person. We are very strictly maintaining social distancing and face coverings are required on campus. Daily sign-in is also required for staff, students, and faculty um, for contact tracing. Most staff at the college are working remotely and we're also offering our placement testing remotely. Again, my name is Brianna Stewart and we have Kelly Worthy here. I hope that 
Um, you, if you guys have questions, then please reach out to us. And our contact information is on the screen. And again, thank you for joining us.